Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2016 Toyota 4Runner SR5. Now the most notable features on this SR5 is its navigation system, its power moonroof, as well as its heated front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2016 Toyota 4Runner SR5. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this SR5 is your daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a closer look at your front hood you're going to see your hood deflector. And then on your front bumper you're also going to see your plug-in block heater. Over on the side you have your 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your running boards and then taking a look up top here you're going to see your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors, vortex generators, heated mirrors. You also have the window visor guards on all four sets of windows along with your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is magnetic gray. Now to start off with we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black and gray combination leather seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side you have your mirror controls with your window wiper de-icer and then you also have your on and off switch for your rear cargo power outlet. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, mode select, you also have your volume control, Bluetooth voice recognition display, and your cruise control. Now with the multi-informational display, you have a couple of different options on here, including your digital compass as well as an exterior temperature gauge. And then if you scroll through using the display feature on your steering wheel, you can see a couple of different uh, additional settings including your current fuel economy, cruising range, and a couple of other additional features. Now if we take a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you're going to see a couple of different options including your digital clock, you have your hazard lights heading into the apps menu, you do have your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Located just down below you have your temperature control settings with your fan speed, mode select, temperature control, and then you also have your rear and mirror defroster. Located just down below you're going to see your USB and auxiliary, power outlet, 4x4 selector, and then you also have it mounted to an automatic transmission. Your open and close for your power rear window with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. And at the very top you also have your auto dimming rear view mirror with your um, sunglass case holder just located at the very top here. And if we take a look, a couple of the controls you'll see in here include your integrated garage door opener as well as your traction control on and off, a track, downhill assist control as well as your open and close for your power rear window, or sorry, your power moonroof I should say just for those days when you want to have a bit of a breeze flowing through the vehicle. Now if you forget your sunglasses at home, you do have the visor extenders just located on your driver and passenger side. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate you'll find your backup camera just on your left hand side. Rear hatch release located just underneath your forearm emblem. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now located just over on your right hand side you're going to see your power outlet as well as an additional one just uh, for those days when you're out at the cabin or the lake during the weekend and you need to plug in your tools you can do so or if you'd like you can plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. Now you'll also have the cargo liner in the back here so if you have any liquids placed back here and they accidentally spill out instead of uh, going underneath onto the carpet it just spills on top which makes things much easier to clean up. Now it's a 50-50 split for your third row so all you have to do to fold the seats up is just pull on that middle piece there and pull it up. And then the other nice thing is, if we actually take a look on the back here, you can actually open up your power rear window just by using the key. So if you just place it inside, turn it to the left, hold it there, it'll actually roll down the power rear window for you. So if you hold it, uh, let go part way, then it'll like, keep itself open part way. But the nice thing with this, if you need to throw a couple of things back here really quickly, then you can use it this way. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2016 Toyota 4Runner SR5, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.